What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to insert the views that we have created from our last video. Okay, but first, let us insert our floor plan. Okay, the floor plan that uh, we are working on since day one. So from the project browser, we're going to insert the zero to floor. So you have a couple of ways for you to be able to insert a view inside your sheet. So one is just by simply drag and drop it. Or the other one is you can go to the view tab. And then after that, um, look for the sheet composition and then select the sheet. Click that. Oh, not sheet. Sorry, it's view. View and then just look here for the floor plan or the view that you would like to insert. So let's say your zero to floor. Okay, just click that and then just select add to view sheet. And there you go. Then after that, you just need to pick and just select modify. Now our model is quite big. So let us change the scale. So I'm going to click our viewport. And then after that, uh, I'm going to change the scale here. So instead of 1 8 of an inch, I'm going to change that to 1 hour 16 to one foot so just click that to change the scale and there you go and then let me just drag my viewport outside Oop. let's click and then drag outside so you see my title line here is too long so I'm going to click the viewport and then you will now be able to modify the length of your title now if you want to move your title separately from the viewport Okay, so just make sure this um, drag elements on selection is turned on so that you can click and drag your model. Now, if I'm going to click the viewport and then drag it, as you can see, the title also moves, right? Now, let's say, for example, you want to move that separately. So what you do is just click that title and then click it individually. And then after that, you can now drag it. Okay, now if you want to move it both, just click the viewport and drag like that. Okay, and then uh, let me just put it here. Something like that. And then after that, um, take note that you will not be able to insert again this 0 to floor in another sheet because it's already inserted here. So what you do is, if you want that, just right click the 0 to floor and then duplicate it. Okay, it's either you duplicate, duplicate with detailing, or duplicate as a dependent. And then after that, you change the name so that you'll be able to insert that again in other view. Okay, you need to duplicate the view in order for you to insert that again inside another sheet. Duplicate and then rename. Okay, so you cannot reinsert the same view to different uh, sheets. Okay, so after that, let's insert the section that we have created. So let's, this time, let us just simply drag and drop it. So just click your main stair view and then drag, release your left click, and then you can now put it here. Click, there you go. Okay, and then after that, so let's also insert our uh, detail view, the typical column detail. Just drag and drop, let's put it here. Okay, again, it's too big. So let's click the viewport. Let's change the scale to one fourth of an inch to one foot. Click. And there you go. And then let's click and drag. Click the viewport so you can uh, resize the title line there. Or if you click the viewport, you also have an option here if you want to have no title like that no title or title only then the other one is title with line okay so it's up to you all right so basically that's how you insert your uh, views so these are automatically updated if you modify the view so let's say you go to the zero two floor and then you modify this view so when you go back to your uh, sheet it will gonna be automatically updated. So same with your section view and same with your call out view. All right, so basically that's how you insert your 
or place your views inside the sheets or title block. Okay, so hopefully you learned something. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.